Hey guys, a lot of you will be aware of the CTE currently in place right now, or the test edition of Battlefield 4, which DICE are using to test new features and fixes before releasing it to the vanilla game. Well, some cool things have been added and some new menu options have appeared, and I wanted to go through all of those with you so everyone knows exactly what's going on, what changes have been made, and what changes it'll make to your game if you use them. First thing is uniform soldier aiming. Basically, this makes aiming down the sight a lot more consistent across multiple scopes by making your sensitivity much more relevant to the FOV of that scope. Now, currently in Battlefield 4, depending on your scope, it will be a different FOV, and that can make your sensitivity in the game feel a little bit different depending on the scope. If you're using iron sights or an ACOG, the sensitivity in your ADS will feel slightly different. What this doesn't help is to get a consistent aim. If a zoom scope makes you zoom in twice as far as the iron sights, changing the FOV, then what uniform soldier aiming will do is it'll adjust your sensitivity so that you'd move twice as slow to match it. What it'll do is it'll make your sensitivity always the same regardless of the FOV or the scope that you're using. It'll make the sensitivity maybe feel a little bit weird at times because you're not used to it, but it can be turned on and off depending on your preference. If you want a consistent aim though, definitely turn it on and just get used to it. It will make muscle memory and a more consistent aim over time, guaranteed. Now next and right underneath it is something tied directly into this. Now in the CTE, players finally have the option to adjust the sensitivity when you're ADS'd. Maybe when you ADS you want your sensitivity to be a lot less than your normal movement sensitivity or you want it to be a lot more. Well, this can be adjusted here. It's currently set at 100%, so that's one to one. You can set it to 1 to 2, 1 to 1, you can set it to whatever you want. If anyone is familiar with Counter-Strike, think of this like zoom sensitivity ratio. Now the next menu option is probably the most important for the overall game experience, and one of the biggest changes in the CTE. Tick rate is a term maybe you've heard flying around. Essentially, putting this into basic terms, it is the amount of times your client updates with the server every second. Now there's a very basic explanation, but let's just go with that. In Battlefield 4, and I think in Battlefield 3, it's set to 10. So your client will update to the server 10 times every second. Now we know that there are some issues with being shot around corners, general unsmoothness of uh, registration and bullet registration in this game. Everyone knows that. Some of this, not all of it, but some of this can be accounted for by this tick rate. This setting in-game is designed to change that. High frequency network update can be set to low, medium or high. By leaving your setting on low, the updates per second will remain at 10. By setting on medium, it will double to 20. And by setting it to high, it will go to 30. Now to get the best possible experience, you want this set to high. Unless you experience lag in the game, when you set it to high, then put it back down to a, a value that's suitable for your internet connection. Really, the low setting is only for people with poor internet connections and everyone, or the majority of people, should be able to set it to high or at least medium. In a head-on battle, if there is a person running the 30 update and a person running the 10, the person running the higher update should, in theory, see them first because they're getting more server updates. So ideally, you always want this to be on the higher amount that your connection can handle. I can assure you, setting this to high and by playing the CT, the game experience feels a lot smoother and sharper. It's definitely going in the right direction. As a point as well, I would always recommend having your net worth smoothing factor on zero. Combine these two and you should notice a far, far better experience. Lastly, in the video options, you will notice that there are two FOV settings. There's obviously the one where you can tweak your player's FOV as you could always do, but now there is one for vehicles as well. Now, this could just be a test to see if people like it and it's worth noting that not all things implemented in the CT will make it over to the vanilla game, other than the network stuff that I've mentioned, which almost certainly will. It's a test version after all, so some things players might not like, so they won't put it in. Right now, though, the vehicle FOV can be tweaked, and it's very, very useful for tank and armor drivers, because it means you can see so much more when in your external view. There is also a cool chase cam now when you use the external view, which is really awesome for jets. I hope this explains some of the things you can tweak in CTE, and I think overall the game is going in the right direction. Some of these changes will come to the vanilla game sooner than others, but overall, the CTE is a positive thing. Thanks for watching, guys, and 
عفوي رزق